Uh, this is probably an old, settled issue for many people, but I just settled it for myself, so I'm making this video. I think I first heard about this idea that Oswald can actually be seen in the Dillard photo when I saw a video by Leroy Blevins. This video is still on YouTube, and I went and got this screen grab today. And there is Leroy in the lower left corner talking about uh, this uh, Oswald in the window. It's the window on the left and the top right where the, the panes come together on his forehead, you can see a person there who looks like he might be Oswald. I assumed at the time that this was fake because I looked at another Dillard photo that I had on my computer and I didn't see anybody there at all. So I dismissed this as bullshit. And a day or two ago, I noticed that some people on the education forum were talking about this again. And I saw that it looked like there was somebody in the window, and I'd forgotten. I, I remembered that I had seen the Leroy Blevins thing, but I had forgotten exactly what it looked like. And I thought, oh, it does look like there's somebody there. Well, let me... And, it, and they had what I thought was the Mary Farrell version of that photo which I believe is scanned from the Warren Commission uh, volumes. I think it was actually scanned from a book from the Warren Commission. I don't know that's true, but that's what I think. And anyway, so I went to the Mary Farrell Foundation here, and I went to Dillard Exhibit A, and this is it here, the top part of it, and there is somebody in the window. I was very surprised to see this because I had been thinking for years that this was just a load of bull. But apparently, I mean, unless somebody is mischievous between Mary Farrell and, and the, the publishing of this photo on their site, there really is somebody in the window. That's what it looks like to me. I don't think there's... Uh, to me, it looks like there's no question whatsoever. There's somebody there whether that person is really there or somebody has altered the photo, I don't know. But assuming it's because it's on the Mary Farrell Foundation and because it seems to have been scanned from the Warren Commission volumes, as in Warren Commission exhibit, it seems to me there probably really was somebody standing in the window. Now here, looking at this, I cannot say that's Oswald, but it does look somebody, like somebody is standing there. But going back to the Leroy Blevins version, now Blevins in this video said that he had a source that he contacted and got him, uh, I forget what he called it, but what he meant was a, a higher quality version of the photo. And uh, that's why you can see so clearly someone there and someone who looks very much like Oswald. And so what I have inserted in the, uh, in the red circle is from the Mary Farrell version of the photo. And to me, it does not look like Leroy has a higher quality image. It looks like he has an image that has been uh, altered to make it look as though it's a higher quality image. But the window itself has less detail on it. The glass has less detail. It's like somebody cleaned the window for Leroy's uh, picture here. So I think probably what we see in the Blevins version is not is altered. It's using the, the image that's there, probably, but altering it to make it seem clearer than it actually was. But okay, uh, I think there's really somebody there, and uh, I can't say who it is. I don't think it's Oswald based upon what I think happened. I don't think Oswald is on the sixth floor. But it does look like somebody's there, and by settled, what I mean is, yes, there's somebody in the window, but I don't know who it is.